Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thanks for tuning in. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Finally got some nice weather here in really Ontario. Today we're gonna look at the 2020 Eagle 272 RBOK. So that's a rear bath, outside kitchen, front queen. Uh, comes in right around 8,000 pounds. It's a heavy travel trailer. It's extremely good quality. Um, so you're gonna get better quality on this and you're gonna get you on, your, on your comparable like J Feathers or, or your ultralights out there. Uh, like always, when you're looking at our new videos, pay attention to the colors and the options. That will change VIN to VIN, uh, especially with Jayco, because they have a lot of options they put on and pull off. Uh, but let's get into it. Right up front here, we have a power front jack with two 30 pound per paint tanks. In behind here though, you can see we have a rack built in here for a generator, a uh, battery spot back there. There's a whole lot of storage built into this one. And we got this killer looking molded front cap. This cap comes right around the corners here. The walls come underneath the cap and it overlap, giving you a really good positive seal. Really good looking trailer on the outside, uh, but also very functional with, uh, with how that works there. This also has a drop frame. So kind of like our Imagines by Grand Design, they have a frame that's cons consistent, frame itself drops down, and that's what gives you all this ridiculous storage in through here. Really nice and clean. Lots of height here. There's lights built into the storage. And then in here, we kind of have that fifth wheel style hookup where we have uh, our outside showers here, our bypasses here, our city water connection, our black water flush, all of our plumbing kind of features are built in here. Our gate valves are in here. All that's in here, nice and warm and nice and clean. We have four manual stabilizer jacks on this one, a rack and pinion slide with our couch and our dinette on this. Coming down the side here. This is a 50 amp trailer. So I've got this adapted down to 15 amps for right now. That just means it prep for a secondary AC. We have a built-in ladder. You gotta get up on your roof, check your seals every three months. You gotta be getting up on the roof, checking your slides, making sure they're uh, nice and clean on the top there. We have a rear hitch on this one. This being a travel trailer, it's not meant for towing, but it's meant for like an accessory hitch, like a rack or a bike rack, something like that. And then you have the backup camera prep uh, up at the top there underneath that uh, white light. Six gallon gas electric water heater, LED lights everywhere. Outside kitchen on this model is a two cubic foot fridge, uh, cooktop built in. Notice the kitchen's covered by our awning that starts right here, goes all the way to your secondary door. And then this has that, those new kind of mole ride steps. These just fold up inside the trailer, nice and easy. They're spring assisted. You know, if you're elderly or you're weak, you can do this easily. <laughs> Um, this guy has a climate shield built in, which means the underbelly is kept nice and uh, enclosed and warm off the furnace. Uh, it's got solar prep. All the doors in this one are keyed alike as well, so just one key for every door. And then inside here, behind this door, we have our outside TV that's built right in. Look at the size of these tires for this trailer. These are Goodyear tires, six bolt rims, more right suspension built in. Nitro fill, of course. This is really gonna ride really nice, really high-end suspension for a, a 27 foot travel trailer for heaven's sake. Fridge vent, range vent, outside speakers, furnace vent, outside receptacle. And then we have a secondary door. Why do we have that? It's just so that you can get into the bedroom on this one with the slide closed. Um, otherwise, you have full access to this one at the back. Uh, just a nice little thing. They got little blue lights there for your steps, which is pretty killer at nighttime. Awesome guys, let's have a look inside. Hey guys, we're inside the front of that 2020 Eagle 272 RBOK. Right now you're on the off door side, looking forward to the bedroom. First off, we have a 60 by 80 queen, which is a full size queen on this one. We have storage on either side of the bed for hanging. Uh, we have multiple lights here. So we have two lights here, two lights there. We got reading lights. We got blue, blue lights also underneath each side. We have receptacles on both sides, USBs on that side. Um, there's storage underneath this bed. This just lifts up. It's on props. The TV boxes are in there right now, but that's all storage in there. And then what's really bonus on this one is we get this bonus extra uh, cupboard here. So that's about a foot and a half deep right there. Shelving right here and three drawers built in. Okay. This is the farmhouse interior, so they use like dark accents, so we'll get into the white stuff when we get into the kitchen, but the bedroom all is the, the dark wood here. And then notice we have that secondary door that we talked about on the outside. 
Heading back into the living space, we get that awesome U-shaped dinette, the gray kind of fabric that matches with that farmhouse interior. We have storage underneath both sides of this. It just happens to have bins built in. That's always a nice killer. We have theater seats right here, windows all the way around. The seats actually face the TV going back this way. Good storage here above. Nice little detail, but they actually light up that little picture frame there around the eagle. I think that's cool. <clears throat> storage all in here as well. Right on. Have a look at the bathroom. Awesome shower. Lots of height in this trailer. Right, I'm standing up in the bathroom. I still got lots of height. Nice little blue LED night lights. Upgraded uh, faucet uh, shower head. Porcelain toilet. Look at all the counter space in this bathroom. Right, you can have about 40 toothbrushes on here. Good storage here. Nice medicine cabinet. Lights in behind the medicine cabinet as well. Storage down below. Right through here. This isn't wasted space. Remember we have that outside kitchen that's all built into there. And then just turn to the door here. As you walk in, you actually have a spot to hang up your jackets. That's the biggest thing I hear about. I don't have a spot to put my jackets when I walk in the trailer. I think that's killer. All your lights and, and you know your, your water pump and all that stuff's in here. This is a dimmer light switch. And then you have a, uh, a remote. I'm not sure if the remote's a standard though. I don't think that's in all of them. But you can operate your, your front jack or your slides with the remote there. Storage right through here. Making the cameraman work today. Nice pantry. TV's right here. Theater seats are behind me. Look at all that storage. The Jayco Eagles have that quiet cool, so uh, the return airs are actually pulled off to the side. When you run the AC on this one, it's much quieter. These are just little storage pieces right here, maybe for DVDs or an Apple TV. Built-in fireplace. Big pot and pan drawer below the fridge. That's huge. That's an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge, not an electric fridge, just gas and electric, which is awesome. Good storage here above the microwave, stainless steel, nice flush, stove top cover, Furigan range, oven down below. This isn't like a broiling tray, it's just a built-in drawer, but it looks killer. Good storage there. Three drawers built in. Nice big grab handles. Solid surface counters, that's an upgrade that's on the, just this one. Stainless steel sink, pull down faucet, more storage through here. Right on. Just a little thing. Usually underneath the kitchen counters you have one light. This actually has three lights here, just lighting the whole area up, making it look really nice. Awesome guys, that was the 2020 Eagle 272 RBOK. If you like that video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. We're going to keep on putting out videos until everybody subscribes. So keep, you know, subscribe. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number is 705-833-2539. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.